कैन एनी एक्टिविटी बी मेडिटेशन मेडिटेशन इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ योर बींग क्वालिटी ऑफ योर अवेयरनेस क्वालिटी ऑफ योर हार्मनी क्वालिटी ऑफ योर इनर वननेस दैट यू ब्रिंग टू एनी एक्टिविटी इन डीट इट इज द क्वालिटी दैट यू ब्रिंग टू एनी एक्टिविटी इफ यू कैन ब्रिंग दैट क्वालिटी टू एनी एक्टिविटी दैट विल बिकम मेडिटेशन मैन इज द ओनली स्पेशी इन द होल वर्ल्ड who always tries to change the world some people may argue with the fact that man is the only intelligent species but is still after centuries of change man is not satisfied with his efforts overall man and the earth both have suffered because of this change with time a few people understand that it is futile to change the world change the outer what is more relevant to bring about change in your innermost only person whom we can change and we have the power to change is ourselves the moment we change ourselves the world also changes with us in reality we are the center of our world and the only way to change the world is to change ourselves change your innermost change your way of looking at the things meditation does not intend to change anything in the outside world or day to day activities in our lives meditation aims at changing the way we do things or the way we look at the things the whole view point is changed meditation is an inner journey and it changes the inner quality with which we do things we do the same things as we are doing before but meditation only changes the way we do those things meditation is not an act because it does add grace to our actions simply adds grace to our actions a new flavor a new gesture to our actions no wonder meditative people carry certain grace an aura of tranquility around them i want to share with you an anecdote from the life of nana nana was once roaming in an arabic country he wanted to visit a city which had many seams but when he was entering inside the city guards stopped nana and handed him a glass full of milk symbolically seams of that city had pass the message to nana and this city is always full of good people and there is no more space for him the milk is symbolic a milk brim to the top symbolizes of spirituality the white color of the milk and the texture of the milk is symbol of spirituality and the milk brim in a glass symbolize that this place is full of spiritual people there is no more space for anyone else when nanak received this message from the guards he has to send them back the message nanak gently picked a flower from a nearby bush and placed it on top of the milk there was no spilling of the milk when he put the flower a small flower from the nearby bush he placed it on top of the milk without spilling the milk yet at the same time adding something beautiful to it and he sent the milk cup that came in along with the flower floating on to it his disciple bala and mardana were with him and they could not understand why did nanak did something like this so they inquired nanak said the chief of the sufi guru send me a message that this place is full of sufis there is no need of any other master and this they did by sending a glass of milk brim to top then what did you do by putting a flower and sending back the same milk bala and mardana inquired nanak replied i simply put a flower and with this i sent the message that i occupy no space at the physical plane i will simply float i will simply float 
So that was symbolic with the flower putting in the glass of milk and there was no spilling of the milk. Sufi of the city understood the symbolic message of Nanak and came to the gate of the city to welcome Nanak. Similarly, many of us feel that our life is so hectic that we do not have time for meditation. But if we use wisdom to give little space to meditation, then it will change the very quality of our being. You do not need to stop working. You do not need to do all those things that you are doing on a regular basis, going to work, driving on a busy road, facing husband, wives, children. Nothing has to change. Indeed, you can make every activity meditation by bringing inner quality of oneness and harmony to that activity. When you are dealing with your spouse or other employees in the office, just remember that both of you are occupying the same space, same air space, same space because both of you are in the same room. The earth on which you are standing, the other is also standing. The air space is the same. Whatever you are breathing out remains in the air. And that is what the other is breathing in and vice versa. You carry the same spark of divinity within you. You come from the same source. Then what is that makes us different? And that is your mind. The social condition that has been given to you by the society. If you are dealing or speaking to the person with this understanding that meeting will become a meditation. Driving on the road will become a meditation. Meditation does not mean that you close your eyes, sit down in a low posture, chant some mantras. No, that has nothing to do with meditation. Meditation is the quality of your being that you bring to any activity. Indeed, anything, any activity can become meditation. Your love making can become meditation. And the day your love making becomes meditation, you will realize that you have gone beyond sex and all that quagmire that it brings with it. It does not mean meditation is an activity. Instead, it means any activity of life can become meditation once you have that inner quality. Meditation is actually the quality of awareness and inner oneness that you bring to any activity. Many people believe that meditation is related with sitting cross-legged with eyes closed or chanting some mantras or moving to the forest. This is not true. Meditation means doing every act with awareness. When you raise your hand, there is awareness. Someone asked Buddha, what do you do? Buddha said, I walk, I sit, I talk, I be, I do everything. The other person who had asked the question, this is what we all in our day-to-day -day life, Buddha responded, there is a difference. Are you aware of it? Are you mindful of it? When morsel goes in your mouth, when you sip tea or anything else, not, then that makes the difference. Meditation means doing every act with awareness. Awareness means staying in present moment. Most of us feel we are awake, but in reality our mind is either in the past or future. People come to my cooking class. I am explaining the intricate tips, the methodology which you will not find in the books, in the recipes but they are engaged in their useless pursuits, discussing, among others, the activities which are irrelevant. The food that you cooked yesterday cannot fill your belly. The food that is being cooked now, only that can fill your belly. This was the first radio program when it started on the radio in Trinidad, under the series Hour of Introspection. That time the program was voiced by female voice and when I gave her the script she wanted to know what do I mean by this script calling it a spiritual program. The script was how do you how do we engage in our day-to-day -day activities? A simple act 
of eating food. Do you know how do we engage in eating food? We have a platter full of delicious food in front of us. We have a morsel in our mouth and the next one in our hands and eyes are fixed on what is on the platter. And then we continue to talk about what you eat when you went to the restaurant last time. You are sitting down with a platter in front of you. You can enjoy it or engage in something which is not there. This is how to bring meditation in any activity that you do. Most of us feel that we are awake, but in reality our mind is either in the past or in the future. Meditation means to enjoy the present moment. And to enjoy the present moment, we have to be available to that moment. Let us take an example. We want to eat pizza. For this you have to walk to nearby pizza corner. On the way you are constantly imagining about the look and the taste of pizza. In our mouth and so on, it is normal. However, when you actually sit to eat pizza, rarely you pay attention to the pizza. While eating pizza, your attention moves to some other things. The delicious pizza is in front of you, but your mind goes in the past when you had tasted the Thai food. The pizza bite is in your mouth, but the mind is not there thinking about the Thai food. Mind is thinking of the Thai food. Again a few new desires catch you and you start imagining about it, yet eating the pizza mechanically. Meditation means while eating the pizza, your attention should be on eating only. Go on tasting every bite. Know when you are raising your hand, cutting a bite from pizza and putting it in your mouth and then you taste. The pizza with all your attention on the taste. Only then you will be able to taste it really. When I taste food, it is meditation for me. And when the food goes in my mouth, it is going in a lab where all the flavors are being analyzed. The salt, the spiciness, the pungentness, the other flavors, the look of it, and then the energy field with which it was made, whether it was made meditatively or not. All these things are revealed when even a few grains of the food goes in the mouth. This is meditation. Eating this way is meditation and very fulfilling. I gave you a very simple example. You can engage in any activity in the same way. You will eat less, yet enjoy the most. Such act of eating will not obese you. Whatever you do in life does not matter. What matters is how you do it. If your attention is in the act while doing it, then this act is of meditation. It will transform you. Otherwise, you go on eating day by day, three meals per day, you will gain weight. You engaged in love making on a day to day basis, but not even a single act is fulfilling. It is said, a sage meditates 24 hours a day because he always lives in this present moment. Time does not exist for them. Time is related with mind. Mind lives either in the past or in the future, lamenting for the past or aspiring for some moments in the future. Living in present moment means to have no thoughts about anything because the moment any thought arises in us, we move to the future or past. You can try. It is very difficult to have a single second when there is no thought in our minds. Every moment many thoughts are seeking our attention, but one amongst them wins and takes our attention towards it. Meditation means just watching that particular thought without analyzing it or getting involved with it. Most of the time we do the things mechanically as our attention is not in the present moment but has moved to the past or future. This shift of attention to past or future 
happens with some thoughts. In fact, it is a myth to believe that we think. Actually, no thought is yours. Thought comes from outside. You cannot even stop these thoughts from coming to you. However, you can certainly stop giving attention to it. This process of stopping attention to thoughts is called as witnessing of thoughts. When we witness the thoughts, then they cannot affect or distract you. So if you are witnessing the thoughts, then you will be in the present moment doing everyday activity, yet at the same time meditation is happening. Slowly and slowly as you become mature in witnessing thoughts, one day suddenly they stop bothering you or with time thought may be there, but you do not have any interest in them as you have become skilled in witnessing them. As you become more skillful in detaching yourself from thoughts, in the same proportion misery starts running away from you as well. To develop this art of witnessing, witnessing thoughts, one can start with sitting meditation with closed eyes for half an hour, initially or 15 minutes as per convenience. Once you become accustomed in witnessing the thoughts while sitting, then you can slowly witness thoughts while doing day-to-day -day activity as well. Slowly as you understand the mind and its games, then things start becoming clearer to you. You come to know how you are trapped by mind again and again. Indeed, any activity in life can become meditation, but initially you can start with activity that you like. Whenever you listen to anything, you focus your attention on one sound which you are listening and ignore all other sounds. This is so much mechanical that we are not even aware of this fact. This focusing on one sound is done by mind. Another direction through which you enter into meditation is unfocusing your attention. Try to listen to all the sounds without blocking any sound. Similarly, while seeing, you focus your attention on one thing. Your vision becomes narrow. If you sincerely pay attention to vision, then you will realize that your vision is in as much bigger circle as compared to what you actually know. Unfocused vision and hearing is the key to convert any activity into meditation. The moment you see anything, you verbalize it. This is a computer, this is a book, and this is a website. What is the need to verbalize? Why do you want to give names to things? This is again done by the mind. Just look at things without verbalizing, without giving them any name like a small child who is looking at the things for the first time. If you can look at the things without giving any name, then again you are doing meditation. In fact, you regain your innocence back. Every child is curious to know things because child does not know anything. But you as adult feel that you have known everything. You have become expert in verbalizing things, coming to conclusions quickly. Maybe you are doing, maybe you are going for a morning walk and it is a beautiful day. Immediately you will start talking about this beautiful day. What is the need to talk? This talking or verbalizing is again done by the mind. Meditation is not against talking. In fact, talking can also be used as meditation. This is what I do. One should listen to one's own words as if someone else is speaking. 
But initially this is not easy. But if one tries, then it happens spontaneously. Slowly and slowly, petal after petal, flowers of meditation blossoms in your life and fills the life with fragrance. You can start witnessing the following steps. Witness the incoming breath and outgoing breath and then witness the thoughts and witness desires. Desires are just a cluster of thoughts. As witnessing deepens, we become more conscious and rule of meditation is to be more aware in everything you do. It does not matter what you do. What really matters is are you aware in that activity or not. Awareness is the key to meditation. Anything, any activity can become meditation.